The stress response is what your body innately does to return itself back to order. And we have three basic stresses. We have physical stress like accidents, injuries, falls, traumas. We have chemical stress like bacteria and viruses and hormones and foods and heavy metals and hangovers and blood sugar levels. And then we have emotional stress, and that's family tragedies, uh, loss, you know, job, finances. And all of those things knock our brain and body out of balance. All organisms in nature can tolerate short-term stress. Uh, a pack of coyotes chases a deer. If the deer outruns the coyotes, 15 minutes later, she turns back into grazing. She goes back into uh, foraging and grazing, and the stress response is over. But human beings, you know, we're so unique because we can turn on the stress response just by thought alone. We could think about something that's happened in our past or we can worry about something that's going to happen in the future. And by thought alone, we turn on those same chemicals. And when you turn on the stress response and you can't turn it off, now you're headed for some type of disease because no organism in nature can live in emergency mode for an extended period of time. So, to answer your question, if you can turn on the stress response just by thought alone, and it's a scientific fact that the hormones of stress downregulate genes to create disease, then it means that your thoughts can literally make you sick. So the fundamental question is, if your thoughts can make you sick, is it possible that your thoughts can make you well?